What's going on guys, T here, bringing you a different type of video. As you can see here in the background, I have a little video on the pipeline that I'm working on. It's gonna take me a little while, but kind of just as a little bit of like a junk food type of video, I saw a little topic today here that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> as you can see here, Dead or Alive 6 Core Fighters is free to play and has 4 available fighters. Learn the characters and if you want to take it to the next level, participate in the DOA 6 World Championships where over $90,000 in prize money is up for grabs. Probably funded by the thousands of dollars in DLC microtransactions you can spend on this game. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's funny is when I was I was kind of interested in this game when it was originally announced right because I like the way Dead or Alive played even back to the original games it played really good the fact that you could like throw people off of buildings and shit was a really cool concept that they didn't really do in other fighting games but I remember when the reviews were coming out there were people kind of jokingly saying I'm gonna wait for the core fighter versions the free version to come out and I was thinking they're not gonna do that right at least for a little while this is a brand new game the game hasn't even been out for what two months but nope here we are with just like dead or alive five core fighters we have a dead or alive six core fighters it gives you four available fighters to play with but it unlocks every single stage for you so you can basically play through a big chunk of what you would usually play in this game and for a lot of people you're going to be able to get your fill with it and turn it off whatever but now without paying 60 dollars, you can jump straight into this and just play through all of the stages i think that's kind of um crappy to the initial purchases if you go to the store page here, they're already getting some pretty controversial reviews. If we scroll down here, I was going to talk about this. I decided not to make a video on it, but we got a $93 season pass. Like, they don't even give a shit, right? They're just kind of taking the piss at this point. This has a very positive review section. I don't know what surprises me more, the fact that this is positively reviewed or the fact that people actually paid $93 for a cosmetic season pass there's already a magnitude of cosmetic dlc and honestly why didn't they just make this game free to begin with why did they have to make this a 60 dollar title if they were just going to release the core fighters already disabled depictions of blood and violence what am i some kind of pussy apparently i've already unlocked 17 things before playing a single lick of this game the rest of the video will now have choppy mic quality because i'm an idiot that doesn't know how to record a gameplay video and here we are the original costumes Right? The original Dead or Alive costume for is locked. You have to unlock this, apparently. But we can use uh, the these new ones. So, okay, whatever. I'm trying to play this like Tekken. I don't even remember how to play Dead or Alive, to be honest with you. So I assume it's kind of like this in the standard game, too. They give you these more basic costumes and... The ones that people obviously that play this game are going to want to likely use the more uh, sexy, suggestive costumes are, of course, locked behind paywalls, it seems, or randomization. Which, by the way, before you, you pull a Shinmu video on me and get your pitchforks out, I haven't thoroughly investigated this game or played through it, so if you know more about this, feel free to correct me. So this is a damn good-looking game. I have no qualms with uh, how the game looks or how it plays, really. I mean, it's playing like a dead or alive. I don't think most people really had any uh, doubts that the game was going to play solid. But, uh... Coming from the perspective of somebody who values their money. I just couldn't find myself spending $60 on a game and then feeling like... I'm not getting the complete experience because I'm not spending $90 on a cosmetic season pass. I mean, that is that is insane to me, right? Like, if I'm spending $60 on this game, I want to get all of the costumes that they have on offer. At least for the first six months of the game, maybe. I mean, I can understand, like, two years from now, right? You're not going to be still getting free content, which plenty of other games do, by the way. But... I mean, right off of the bat, you're just, like, slapping standard adopters in the face. I'm getting kind of dirty here as I fight. That's pretty neat. They should have just made this game free to play from the start. That's, I mean, that's my opinion. I mean, if they wanted to milk the hell out of the game, they wanted to make a ton of money off of it, you could have just made it free to play and done the same thing, right? But they wanted to have their cake and eat it too, and I don't know what I'm doing because I don't remember any of the controls for Dead or Alive. Luckily, it's really easy to button mash and spam in this game, I suppose. I'm just gonna- yeah, I'll just knee this shit out of her until I win. That's a good- that's a good play. Camera goes in. Camera goes out. Camera goes up. Okay. Oh shit. This is where I kind of wish that I played the tutorial. 
That would have been where I could have continued to combo if I knew what the hell I was doing. I would really like to know, um... I would be really interested in knowing how Dead or Alive players feel about this. Okay, that was fucking cool. This is... <laughs> this is why I like Dead or Alive games, man. This game essentially going free to play within its first two months. And requiring you to spend all this extra money, seemingly, to unlock costumes. Yeah, this would be a good time to have a different costume. Welcome to the wardrobe, where you can selectively preview each of your favorite characters, male or female, I'm not going to judge. Where in the Core Fighters version, you can individually buy your characters, or you can <laughs> buy the female fighter set. And then after acquiring your, your female character set, you can proceed to buy your DLC costumes within the first two months of the game being out. You do not own a license for this character. Do you still wish to customize? God, I feel like this is like the blockbuster of video games. But hey, even if you can't play as the character, you can still customize. <laughs> Why not? It's so cute. It's so cute. Don't you just want to spend hundreds of dollars on it? Well, yeah, guys. That is Dead or Alive 6. There's a ton of different ways to spend your money on it. Were you thinking of buying this game and then just decided not to because the monetization turns you off? Or did you buy the game because you're a hardcore fighting game fan or a fan of the series? And maybe it's not as bad as everybody's making it out to be. Give me your opinions. I would really like to know. And if you'd like to jump into Dead or Alive and give it a shot, well, you can. It's free. Well, it's a 32 gigabyte download, but it's free. I've also reorganized my main channel, so if you want to go take a look there and look through the playlist to find something you might be interested in, go for it. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been C. I'm out.